You guys put an LED light bulb. I'm very excited to do my um, review of my View 2. And it's also a contest entry for the Chevet um, Best Lighting Contest. Um, so, yeah, here we go. There's the LEDs in there. Flip over to the back. Get them inside so I'm not blocking the light of the room. Um, dip switches, configuration. I really do like having a configuration there. Um, then you got your power in and power out. Sound sensitivity knob and mic. DMX in and out. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it on the outside of it. Here we go, turn it on. Oh, and one thing that's great about this light is it is an LED. Um, so yeah, I really do like LEDs because they do not produce much heat if any um and they're better it kind of does look like it has a hot spot in the middle there i go zoom out some but it really does not it's pretty much proportioned except for maybe like the very edge LED if right there's something in the way the lights are here but um here we go in sound active mode another thing i like about this light is um instead of just doing all the red, all the green, all the blue LEDs, it it does that, but it also does this. It only has a portion of them on. Sometimes it does this and then it adds to it. Sometimes it just does this. But it does change up a lot, even though it is the same light position to the same spot on a truss. It's bouncing because I'm hitting it pretty hard. This is going over my bed. Sometimes it does do um strobing like this, sometimes it does it in white. There's the red green blue. There just does there's all the LEDs. Could probably do that again, yeah, there it went. Anyway, I really do love this light. Um, right now I'm just moving it across the room. But, um, it's pretty bright. You see, it's only like 8 or 9 feet away. Actually, maybe 7. Um, it's about perfectly an arm's length almost. So, yeah, and I'm not that tall, and I've heard that arm's length and the tallness is the same. So, yeah, um, it's big beam angle. I like that over the Chevet 1.1s, or the 1s. Um, um, at the time I hadn't found a better deal, so yeah, I got these. Um, and I really do like them. They're LED, they're DMX. Um, hopefully I will be getting a Chevet Obey 40 DMX controller to go along with it, and some Chevet wash lighting, so then I can do some um a gig that I have coming up. Um, but yeah, you know it's kind of probably just about to cycle through all the colors. Yeah. You see it's kind of flickering, but I think when I get DMX it won't do that. Anyway, enough of that in action. Um, I do not have any fog right now, but it looks great in fog. It cuts through unless the fog is so dense that you cannot see ten feet in front of you. Um, like extremely dense. Um, then it'll just cut through just fine. It's a very bright light. You can see it 20, 25 feet away. I don't really see a lot of these out on the road on YouTube, but I really do like them for myself. Um, there we go. Um, see, I really do like these lights. I have two. There's that. Finally. There's that little strobing thing I was showing you. Do it before it goes away. There we go. Ah, oh, there it went away. But anyway. Um, that's the little strobing thing, kind of does whenever you're playing drums to it. I really do like this light. Um, I haven't had any problems with either of my two Chevy V2s. So yeah, there's the LEDs. Um, so yeah, these are my sh best Chevy um, lights. They're my favorite. I play, I pretty much turn them on any time that I'm 
um, turning all my lights, even inside my own house. I'm probably going to take them to every gig till I get better lights or something. I don't know. But, um, they're really good lights. Um, for effects, and, yeah, there you go. Anyway, practice, enjoy. I'm out.